就快開始啦，仲有幾分鐘啫。All right. Is sound check? Is that all good? I think we're all good, right? So, I'm going to talk to you guys about climate change, and we, as we know, Al Gore has really done a wonderful job, uh, and um, and there are other individuals such as Greta Thunberg. So you don't need to hear from me as far as how much we need to do it. What do we need to do? But instead, I'd like to tell you, with starting off with one phrase, that. We did not leave the Stone Age because we ran out of stones. No, siree. And today in Cantonese, because it's April fifteenth and sixteenth, where I will be giving these two talks. Sapm saplo. It means like you're hesitant, right? You're somewhat unsure. Why are you unsure? Because you don't know about the future. You don't know who's going to help you. And I can tell you that the future can have many different outcomes if we, as adults, I, as an adult, would give back to the younger generation. And in climate change, imagine this, right? Imagine if adults and other leaders had no ego, and we were able to imagine and invent ourselves to a future that could have 500 years of bliss on the earth, as opposed to all the things you hear in the media about the earth running into its limits. Imagine. If we were able to take materials and to make them better, so that they did not off gas and did not cause more climate change issues, imagine if I told you between these two days of my two keynotes, one on climate change and tomorrow on AI. Imagine if I said that job security in climate change is about one of the best jobs you could ever secure for yourself. Best futures you could secure for yourself. Why? Because we need people. What kind of backgrounds? Engineering, scientists, doctors, nurses, writers, poets, singers, songwriters. We need everybody in this goal about climate change. And I want you to think about how bright the future can be if we think this way. If we could extend. The Earth's plan for another 500 years. Why? Because we don't have a Plan B. We don't have a Planet B right now, and we need to buy others who are talking about the space economy time, so that on Earth, one, we don't kill ourselves. That's important, right? We don't go and because I don't like you, I want to take from you. I don't like your skin color. I don't like your attitude. I don't want to be with you. We should change how we are. And if we look back in 1961 at Elvis Presley and Deep Love, Deep Love, he said in the song titled "Can't Help Falling in Love with You," it began with the word "can't." And I don't know how many plays he's getting today, but the word "can't" is pretty negative. And then he goes into deep love to a girl and saying, "Well, wise men say only fools rush in." Well, if you're trying to date a girl today and or a girl to a guy, and you're saying wise men say, you might have lost them. 
because you took too long. And you start with can't, it's too negative. Versus Ed Sheeran, whose song is titled Perfect. And he goes like this. I found a love for me. Darling, just dive right in and follow my lead. I need some help. I need some help. You know, by putting this on, now I can be relaxed because I have no ego. If we can let go of the ego, then you can in be inventing your happiness as opposed to, you know, struggling and asking for job security. Pay me something. Why don't we go and focus on something that is a greater need? And climate change is that greater need. So Ed Sheeran in his song Perfect, one word, right? One word. And today, the word for us is together. Or another word is imagine. Imagine there was no COVID. Or imagine after COVID, we changed and we were world focused on togetherness. There is so much funding that I can access because of climate change, because we need to fix this problem, because we need to buy ourselves 500 years, that you don't have to be something to look, right? You don't have to be uncertain. You don't have to have an ego anymore. I don't need degrees. I need people. And I want to give you, the listener, confidence. I'm going to give you an example. At Yale University, they have found that asphalt under a hot summer day will release secondary organic gases into the air, volatiles into the air, and it adds to the climate change. Asphalt can be made better, can it not? We put roads down every day, but are we doing that? That's another opportunity for research and young individuals. If you're thinking of climate change, you're on the fence, something, some low, 15, 16, you're not sure, no longer be uncertain because you could have a great life. You get paid, you're solving the earth's problem for multiple generations because we did not ask to be born. We're here, we've been born, but we want to solve the problem. And I need to say it different from people who have already said before. Because it's not about whether or not I can talk about deep love. Elvis did it. Ed Sheeran did it. But they said it differently, didn't they? And look at the clicks. It's really direct. But he does it in a very special sequence. Is I found a love for me. And then he says, don't think about it. Darling, just dive right in. And follow my lead, right? That's what he says. And it's in the lyrics of being direct. So in climate change, what are you waiting for? More evidence? More clarity? They have found, and I encourage you, the number one thing you need to do in today's session, right? This time is going by really fast. We can't gain it back. In a blink of an eye... These 20 minutes will be gone. Some of it's already gone ready. You can either sit on the fence and do nothing or change your future by setting up yourself in everything that you do, whether you're in school now, whether you're finishing school, or whether you're pivoting your life and trying to look for something else with meaning and purpose. Well, the earth needs you because it's been going downhill ever since. It's been going downhill ever since. And that's why I got to have no ego, because after today, right, after today, there cannot be any ego. So if you need to reach out to me, you got my LinkedIn, I will reply, especially when it comes to saving the earth. Our rivers need you. Our mountains need you. It needs young individuals that understand that we need to stand up and make a change. And what's better is that what's been said in songs and lyrics, right? It's like the song Imagine. Imagine there's no heaven. 
It's easy if you try. No hell below us, above us only sky. Imagine all the people living for today. You who who. You may say I'm a dreamer. I hope you would join us one day, right? Right? Because I'm not the only one. I hope someday you will join us. And the world will be as one. Right? When I had children, and I look at where their future is going to be, it can be brighter. Because we have the technology to be able to invent ourselves into not having a 21st century problem. Because climate change is a 21st century problem that, is, that needed to be solved yesterday. But if we can change how we perceive life and say, you know what, I'm going to position my life into the best trending thing because there's a big massive need do you know how many trillions of dollars that are going to be coming into the climate change effort? Because there's no other choice. There's no other choice. And that's why I want to encourage you, based on today's talk, is do not be on the fence of something, so book 15, 16, is to reach out. Because there are problems. There are off-gassing. There is indefinite issues with the rivers and the wildlife but also in how we make materials, right? It doesn't have to be hugging trees. It can be in how we make cosmetics, to how we make our food, how we package our materials. Every single thing has to be redone because once upon a time, Henry Ford said to everyone that I can make you have a higher salary if you work on the assembly line, assembly line women and conveyor belt men will be able to then create the industrial age. And just like from the beginning I said, the stone age did not end because we ran on the stones. Well, the industrial age needs to end because it is affecting everything. And it already ended, I'm not attacking the industrial age, it already ended because AI and the world and the internet, and just like this talk and many, many experts, we stand on their shoulders, right, of giants. We know that people have choice. And not everyone needs to have the same ketchup or the same cheese. And that is a model that affected the industrial age. You cannot have a factory making things with people on assembly lines when no one's buying those products. So I'm saying to you today, not only set yourself up for a great opportunity to have helped out the world and make sure you contact me because I will give you the contacts you need. If you have a startup idea that has something to do with making environmentally better, reach out. Don't stand on the fence. Don't be 15, 16. And then most importantly, is to realize, as a consumer, everything you buy, you are voting with your dollars. Everything that you do, you're voting with your dollars. So if the company or the message is not in full transparency and agreement with what you are, what you believe in, and what is better for the earth, then don't buy it. Because without you supporting that model, it goes away. Why did Nokia, which is very popular in Asia, it dominated the world? Why did they become lose the first place position and now we don't hear of Nokia phones? Nobody's using a Nokia phone, but they dominated the world as number one. They insisted back then of making cheaper phones. But people, the people didn't want cheaper phones to just dial out. You wanted to go on the internet. You wanted firepower, the ability to compute. 
and they lost their position because people didn't buy those anymore. Once the iPhone came out and the Google phone came out and the Samsung came out, right? People saw that they could do so much more with their phones and phones started replacing even cameras and other things. So where is the world going? If you knew where it's going, it's very, very clear. Change the lens. And just a couple of speakers ago, you heard Aaron Pang. He interviewed me. And the title I said, I used the same wig, was go crazy, right? Lose the ego equals finding your happiness. You don't have to put on anything anymore. It's not about the degrees or what school you went to, right? Just like the Elvis Presley song, stop using a negative, stop saying a bunch of things in the front. You don't need that. If you want to work, you want to have ideas, well, let's talk. Let's talk about how that works. Make it happen. And you would have contributed to the earth and the next couple of generations being longer so that we can buy time for the other professors who are talking about the space age. We can buy time because we have to stop fighting down here. So imagine that we stop fighting. Imagine that we don't have to even use the word imagine anymore. Imagine not having to imagine no countries. Imagine ha being able to not imagining, right? Trying to buy an apartment and then sinking your whole life savings around the success of the apartment. Imagine you don't have to do that anymore. Imagine we no longer compete with each other as a battle in life. Imagine your 21st century guide to success is being together and forming community because only through community can we do better. And it is about good community. I have a family. I have little kids. But my words will only go so, so far. Building a quality community that cares goes much further. And you as a listener and watcher, you have your life. It isn't about how impressive I can be. It is about impressing upon you and us, right? As a family, as a society that we need to stop. We need to stop everything that we're doing that was wrong before and buy ourselves time so that we can do it right again. And that is my message to you. Is the only thing you have to do today, whether you are attending Future in You 2022, or you're attending this, or you're watching this from somewhere else, all you need to do is to make sure that you reach out and have no fear. And I will be there for you because my children need you. Without you connecting that missing link, there won't be a chance. So whether or not you want to get a job in a company that wants to help or you want to be a consumer that changes how you purchase or you want to have a startup and need those introductions and the training to get the idea, that all doesn't matter. It's all good. It is all good. So please join me in having this wonderful future that we together can make happen. Or else, like the movie The Lorax, is the alternative. Is we run out of time. We lose the last tree that is holding up the balance. And... Imagine if it was worse than this, right? What would happen? So why do we want to even think like that? Take the stand. Just like animals feel that there is something wrong and they start to quiver and the birds start flying and everything starts shaking, you know in your generation something is wrong. You know something isn't right. 
It's time to act because there's nothing wrong with you. You are absolutely, what you're feeling is feeling the truth that we need to take action now. And I am here for you. Thank you.